When it comes to evaluating a child's skills and educational needs, there are many tests we could consider, but just a few types of tests. Two commonly discussed types are norm-referenced and criterion-referenced tests. In this video, I'll break down what these tests are, why they're used, and when to use each one. Assessments fall into two broad categories, informal tests and formal tests. Informal tests don't follow strict standards or scoring guides. Classroom quizzes and teacher-created tests often fall into this category. On the other hand, formal tests are standardized with set procedures and scoring systems. Examples include diagnostic tests, achievement tests, as well as cognitive tests. The first of the two formal tests is called norm reference tests. These tests compare a student's performance to a large, nationally representative sample of peers from across the country, considering factors like age, gender, and cultural background. The key here is to see where a child performs relative to the child's age group peers. It's not a pass or fail type of assessment. Examples of formal tests may include the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children, the Woodcock-Johnson Tests of Achievement, or the Kaufman Test of Educational Achievement. Criterion reference tests measure a child's performance, but this time against a set of predetermined standards or skill benchmarks. For example, state tests often use cut scores to determine if a student meets, exceeds, or does not meet the expected level of proficiency in a subject area. For eligibility and support decisions, using both norm-referenced and criterion-referenced tests can paint a fuller picture. Norm-reference tests are useful when we want to learn where the student stands in relation to peers. We can also use these test scores to explain how the tests and the test scores compare to each other. In other words, when we look at the test results across tests and compare them, we can learn the impact of the test results on the individual child's learning. Criterion reference tests answer the question of whether the student has met the expected standards or skills of a grade level or subject. State tests provide this kind of information and in combination with norm reference test results can assist in determining eligibility and curricular achievement. Remember, informed decisions come from reviewing data about a student's performance. Without data, we're left with only opinions. By understanding the purpose and benefits of both norm-referenced and criterion-referenced tests, we can better support every child's learning. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share.